well, why are we spending all this money of our money, our players' money, our union, so that Brady, you know, isn't suspended for four games? You know, Brady's rich, Brady's famous, Brady's everything. Why are we expending so many resources for Brady in this particular instance? Well, you 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 know on this side that it it it, it it's never just about the player. Um, every player. Um, is going to be subject to a rule where a commissioner is upholding discipline based on his belief that a player was generally aware of someone else's conduct. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? No, I have not. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, it it, it borders line it, it borderlines on 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 intellectual hypocrisy, right? And so it's, it's Tom Brady today, but if your employer wanted to fire you and you asked why, and the employer said, well, I believe that you were generally aware of somebody else's conduct, you wouldn't say, okay, that's a Tom Brady issue. You would say that's a player issue. Um, when, we, when we fight and, and file cases uh, on behalf of players like Ben Utech, and you know Ben, a player that we had to file a grievance against the National Football League to get him benefits for the multiple concussions that, that he found. We didn't ask ourselves whether Ben Utech is rich or not. We fight the case because we know that there's players that are going to be similarly situated. And, and so whether it's Ben or the players in Bounty or Ray Rice or Bill Radovich, um, all of those players are, are fights that start off being about one player, but ends up affecting, you know, um, hundreds, if not thousands. And, and, you know, you come into this office and every day I walk past a picture of Bill Radovich. When you think that the National Football League owners blackballed a World War II veteran and he had to fight his case all the way to the Supreme Court and paid for it by waiting on tables. Well, you know, back then, I'm sure everybody could have said, well, you know, what's this case about, this Bill Radovich guy? The reality is, you know, more than 40, 50 years later, when the league locked us out, and the plaintiffs in that case were Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and Drew Brees and Vincent Jackson and Logan Mankins and Vaughn Miller, well, 40 years later, the first case they cite is the case of a World War II vet who gets blackballed by a bunch of rich owners. So... You know, we fight these cases not because of the name of the guy on the on the pleading. We fight for every one of them because we know that right behind them are thousands of players that are come, going to come into this league at some point. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.